Hi guys, this is Tekken57. Today I'm going to do a tutorial uh, showing you the new features of X-Ray uh, 2.1 which allows you to edit the shaders, shader parameters and to toggle objects on and off. Alright, so <clears throat> for, this ex for this example I'm going to be using my cut angle mod which I've recently done. Uh, just to demonstrate how some of these features work. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to edit the shaders. Now editing the shaders allows you to do different things. The first uh, question I get asked a lot of time is how do you add uh, transparency to certain objects? Um, you can do this by adding a transparency shader to an object. And the second thing I get asked a lot is how do you make objects look like metallic or to add shine to certain objects? You can also do this with a shader. So for example, we have um, object one in my angle mod which is his chest. Now if for some reason I wanted to hide the chest area, you could assign this a transparency shader and you can hide the object completely and the object won't render. Uh, this is handy to do in instances where you need to hide certain parts of the object like the arms and the chest and you'll find that if you try and uh, not render these objects using a program like Anatomizer you find that sometimes the game crashes. So for this example I still need to render these objects but I don't want these objects to display because what I want to do in this instance is I want to give cut angle a suit like this and if I'm gonna have the chest and the arm objects uh, rendering it's gonna clip through the suit which is not gonna look very good so I'm gonna assign a transparency shader to the chest and the arms if you look at the default renderer for skin you'll see that it's assigned a YCS underscore skin uh, shader so I'm gonna change the other ones to a transparency shader which is a YCS underscore trans shader. So once I've done this you'll find that if you go and edit the alpha channel of uh, the texture and you make the alpha channel completely black for that part of the object you'll find that these objects won't render in game and they'll be completely transparent. I'll just show you quickly in Photoshop. This is what the alpha channel of the all underscore NDDS file looks like. If I want to hide uh, the chest area like I've just done, I could just black this out completely and it won't render. So if I do this, you'll find that the arms, legs, whatever I've assigned the transparency shader to won't render. This is also handy if you are, utilize, if you are creating a mod and you are uh, injecting uh, items of clothing from another model into your object. So for instance, I'm using the suit and you don't want to render every single part of this. So say for example you want this pants, instead of rendering the entire thing and making it long pants, you want to actually make it short pants. You can also assign a transparency shader and then make the lower part of the pants object black in the alpha channel and it will allow you to have short pants. It's, it's a lot easier to do it this way than trying to actually scale down parts of the object and hide it inside your model because you'll find sometimes because of the rigging, even though the, the model has been scaled down, it will still display and you'll get artifacts in game. So the transparency shader is quite handy for this. Another cool thing you can do is to uh, add um, a different appearance to objects to make it shiny, to make it look metallic. So say for instance I wanted to use the singlet from Goldust, which is quite shiny. And now I wanted to make my object quite shiny as well. So for instance I want to make the suit shiny as well. So in order to do this, you can ed edit the shader parameters in the object. So if you say edit shader parameters, right click ed edit shader parameters, you'll find that there's a few shader parameters that's been listed. There are values for the shader parameters and also the offsets of the shader parameters that have been listed. Now I've listed the sh offsets for the shader parameters uh, if you need to manually edit the shader parameters. This only edits the first 16 bytes of the parameters so if you have parameters which are 24 bytes long, you need to edit these manually. However, most of the times the final 8 bytes of a shader parameter, if it's 24, 24 bits long, um, are zero. So you don't really need to edit this. Okay, so if you want to make, say for instance, the top part of the suit, say the code shiny, I'll right click, I'll say edit shader parameters. Alright, now that you have the shader parameters open, the values which control the, the shininess and the appearance of the shadow parameters are usually the first two, which is the spec level and spec roughness. So all you would need to do is take the values that are listed for uh, gold dust, 
and you can paste it into your shadow parameters for the suit which is there and give me a second shadow parameter value there and then you hit save changes and then thereafter the shadow parameters will be applied so this will allow you to add um, a different appearance to the object uh, you can control the shininess of the object as you would do uh, with any other object which is via the alpha channel meaning the more white the alpha channel is the more shiny the object will appear another cool thing you can do with this feature is if you want to make an object so say you want the arms or the chest to look like a piece of clothing instead of it looking like an arm the you can also change the shader to be a gear shader parameter so that it will look like clothing which is y underscore cs gear you can just copy this and you can paste this there and then you hit save alright so that's basically how you would edit the shaders and the shader parameters another uh, feature that I've added in uh, x-ray is ability to turn objects on and off now this is only handy in an instance where you are hiding certain in certain pieces of clothing in a model and uh, it's not really useful if you want to use multiple wrestler Y objects in a single pack file because you'll find that sometimes this causes the game to crash in an instance where you need to use multiple Y object files in a single pack file I would still utilize Manok Burns excellent anatomizer program to render and not render objects but I'm just going to show you this feature quickly it may come in handy if you need to so if you right click on object you say turn on and off you'll find that this object will now not be rendered in game so object 14 you'll see it doesn't render anything anymore objects which are toggle, toggled on and off in this panel will be highlighted in red if you turn this back on you'll find it will go back to black and this will be rendered back in the game as well alright so please be wary when you're using this feature because as I said if you are doing very complex mods with multiple wrestler wire objects turning objects on and off like this will cause your game to crash so rather not, res uh, not render these objects at all alright so th those were the new features that I've implemented in X-Ray 2.1 and above um, if you have any questions please post in the comments below or on my official Xpacker X-Ray thread and I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys uh, happy boarding